Hey guys, if you want to see how I got this eye look using the new Modern Renaissance palette, keep on watching and I will show you how. Starting off using our paint pot and soft ochre, we're going to use our finger to apply this to help uh, melt everything quickly and smoothly all over the eyelid to create a nice even base for everything we're about to apply. Also, I'm not having to dirty a brush that I have to clean later. Bonus points. Going to go in with our modern renaissance palette and a flat Morphe brush. Don't worry, I'll list everything down below that I'm using in the video because I ramble and I might skip it. Going to use this first shade in Tempera to pack it all over the lid and up to our brow bone just to give us a nice, smooth, flat, powdery canvas to put the other shadows on top of. Going in with raw sienna and a fluffy brush, we're gonna start to buff the color into our crease slowly, just grabbing a little bit of color at a time. These shadows are super buttery and super pigmented. Super pigmented. You don't need a lot, just take your time. So now we're gonna go in with a smaller, denser, fluffy brush and the shade Burnt Orange to concentrate that on our outer corner of our lid, slowly buffing it up into our crease. Um, don't take it all the way up into your crease. You still want that transition color to peekaboo through, um, for this look at least. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Um, but to create this look, you're gonna to want to. So you're not gonna bring it all the way up in the crease, you're just gonna keep it on that outer corner and just a little bit in the crease so it's blended. Next, you're gonna go with that darker orange color and Real Gar, this beautiful burnt pumpkin-y orange, I love it. And we're gonna do almost the same thing, but we're gonna keep it closer to the lash line, more so on the lid, a lot less up in the crease. This is creating some saturation for us and some dimension and keeping it nice and angular, flicking it out a bit every once in a while and building it up slowly. Going in with that first fluffy brush we used without any extra product, just to blend everything, just making sure everything's nice and smooth and blown out and diffused. We're gonna go in with a small detailer brush and I'm going to take Cypress Umber. I'm gonna pack that on closer and closer to the lash line. And then you're gonna see me go in with that um, Morphe white brush that I've used to put all these oranges on to slowly marry the brown and orange together. So again, everything's nice and blended and it kind of just all meshes beautifully together in a nice sharp shape. So go back and forth until you're happy and build up color until you're happy. And then we're gonna go in with a uh, fluffy bullet brush and that red ochre to swoop underneath our eyelid there. And you're gonna kinda almost bring it all the way under, but using a lighter hand the closer you get to the inner corner of your eye. So it's nice and diffused. Using the same brush, you're gonna go in with Love Letter and pack on that pink color on that outer corner and slowly bring it in to the other colors and flick it out a bit. Same white fluffy brush, blending it out and making sure it's all nice and lifted. I'm gonna go with that same detailer brush and Cypress Umber and pack it closer to our bottom outer corner to smoke it up a bit. Once again, blending everything out, making sure everything's nice and smooth. After that, I'm gonna go with this no-name brush. I've had it forever, but any flat small brush will do for you. And Primavera, packing it on into that inner corner to give it a nice little sparkle, open up that eye a bit, and break up those matte eyeshadows. Then we're gonna go in with Vermeer and double the sparkle, do the same thing, pack it on the top of Primavera, and then right underneath that brow bone to lift it and give it a nice little shine. After that, use your favorite eyeliner. I'm going to be using Wet n Wild's liquid liner. I love this stuff. It's super affordable and it goes on so awesomely. Like, if I'm gonna describe it, that's the word I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna throw on a wing. If you guys wanna see how I do my wing liner um, in more detail, leave a comment below and I'll do that for you. But just put it on in your favorite mascara and a pair of your favorite lashes and then your look's completed. Boom, super easy, more of an everyday wearable look with this palette, still using those gorgeous pink and red colors that she's put in there for you. I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for the next video.